Hey, Brad Lancaster here, author of the books Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond and the website HarvestingRainwater.com. Just want to show you um, the potential of uh, real simple water harvesting. Let's turn the camera around. All right, first off, we got this water harvesting traffic calming chicane or pullout because it came out from the curb and narrowed the street to calm traffic, as does the water harvesting traffic circle. So we've got the water coming on down the street gutter and then it fills up this basin. Let's look at, and it is full. All we got was like a 10 minute intense downpour. That's it, just 10 minutes. I already filled this up because the intensity of the rain was so good. Um, and everything's greening up really nice. Then once it's full, surplus water goes around the curb and it has already filled this street side basin for this white thorn acacia tree. Still pretty young. It's gonna get nice and tall, shade us good, irrigated for free. Now what you can't really see is right here, my hand is going into and up here. It went into a curb core that's currently underwater. Okay, but it's working great. So we direct that street runoff into street side basins so street irrigate street trees for free. Surplus water continues down. It's another one with a curb core that's underwater right now. Filled that whole basin. Continues on down. Could totally have a basin here. Um, plenty of room for that. And then here did an inexpensive option where in this existing driveway dip, so the dip in the curb, dug a basin, basin, so the water that is flowing down the street gutter can easily fill those, no problem, because the basins are lower than the elevation of the street. Water takes the path least resistance. Okay, let me come here. And then there's another one. Water, this driveway dip, basin comes to the dip, so the water goes down, fills that whole thing up. New plantings there, but here's the real sweet thing. Check it out. So we've had big flow coming here in that downpour we just had. And then it starts to cease because we've got water going into this curb cut to the street side basin. And in this driveway dip, we've got water going into that basin. And then there's a little going to the next curb cut. But, I mean, this is just an amazing flood control strategy. All this water that would have just flowed out of the system, been lost, has been taken in street side. All right. And as a result, we're not flooding anyone downstream. We're not contributing to downstream flooding. We're contributing to downstream flood prevention while at the same time enhancing the street side experience right here. Now you might ask, well, what about the people down there? Are you robbing water from them? No, because the water flowed off the raised or crowned road in the middle to the gutter on either side and was able to fill those basins as well. Okay, pretty sweet. And in even bigger rains, more water will come and it'll make the whole uh, length of this block. So you want more info on these simple, highly effective strategies that can turn water scarcity into water abundance and can also mitigate flooding and other climate extremes, check out my books, Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond, available direct from me at deep discount at my website, harvestingrainwater.com. Thanks for watching. Oh, and in those books and on the website, give you all kinds of details on how to set up these street side water harvesting features just right.